Hi, this is Brian Klug with Anontech, and what we're going to take a look at is a comparison of iOS 6 maps on an iPhone 4S, which is the device on the right, of course, and uh, Google Maps and Navigation, which is the phone on the left. And I'm using an HTC One X, um, both on AT&T, and both using, using a similar uh, GPS. Uh, both of them use the onboard, on baseband S, uh, GPS or GNSS. So we'll get roughly the same performance. So what I'm going to do is just drive to um, Abuelo Canelo and uh, we'll see how well routing does and what differences there are. Uh, I've done a lot of driving but not a lot of driving um, with both of them up. I mean I've done a lot of driving with iOS 6 nav just to get a feel for it. Um, but it's hard to really convey all the subtleties without actually showing it. Um, so what we're going to do is just give this a shot and um, see how it goes. So I've already typed in the destination. Let's see if both of them will pop it up. So okay, so there's one on um, Oracle that I want to go to. Let's see, that looks like it. Both of them are almost on Grant. So on iOS 6, you can just tap the drive little icon there, and then immediately that will start navigation. So it'll give you some suggested routes. Uh, I tend to just accept the default, Starting route uh, and to then you start. Head south on North Campbell so, Avenue. meanwhile over here, we get the listing, I can tap navigate, there are a bunch of different options of course, uh, I want to select driving, navigation, I want to use um, Google Maps navigation, getting directions here, Head west to so currently North I'm in Campbell a parking Avenue. lot, then turn left onto North Campbell Avenue. It looks like we're ready to go, so we'll see how this works out. I'm in my car and we're actually going to drive this. And uh, I'm shooting this on the PureView 808, by the way, in a Gorilla Pod with another mount. So I've got a total of three smartphones going all at once in here. So it's, you know, like some parking lots, Google Maps has navigation data. Because uh, they they look at the streets. Here's this parking lot. They don't. So I'm gonna turn right on Glen first. Head south toward East Glen Street, then turn right onto East Glen Street. Turn right onto East Glen Street. So I've noticed Google Maps just tends to be a little bit chatty sometimes. Continue at, on East like Glen boundaries. Street for one and a half miles. Like I'm not really on Glen Street yet. Now I am. Turn left onto North Campbell Avenue. So Google Maps wants me to just continue on Glen forever iOS wants me to go left on Campbell, which is what I would kind of normally do. So we're going to see one reroute and the other one um, not reroute. So uh, Google Maps says 9 minutes, iOS 6 says 8 minutes, 2.6 miles, and I'll get there at 4.58 p.m. Of course you can tap overview and get the whole route. So that's the route I'm going to take. Ta you can tap this down here and get the individual turns. Tap resume. That's sort of the same as you know in Google Maps navigation. I'll tap that, get the ETA, the total route. Um, go back to nav. You can get the breakdown of the directions list. So, you know, standard fare. I think feature parity. They're pretty close. Obviously, um, iOS six lacks like walking navigation and some of the other fancier things like bike routes. So hopefully we'll get going pretty soon here. So it's been raining a little bit, and of course I chose today uh, to sort of get this together but 
not really a big problem. It seems to have let up. In half a mile, turn right onto East Grand Continue Road. on North Campbell Avenue for a half mile. So Google Maps routed, rerouted us pretty fast. In a quarter mile, turn right onto East Grand Road. So we got a quarter mile navigation alert from Google Maps, but nothing from iOS 6 quite yet. Now we're approaching the intersection. Turn right on to East Grand Road. Road. Wow, both of them fired at the same time. That's pretty impressive. Pretty soon here. Continue on East Grand Road for two miles. In two miles, turn right onto North Oracle Road. So, I mean, they're pretty close in terms of what they say and just general stuff, it seems. It's a little bumpy, I'm sorry about the video. So I want to try something here and um, deviate from the course. And we can see how both handle that abrupt deviation. Next road. So I see on both we have um, current road that we're going to turn on, distance. I think on iOS 6 the callouts of the individual roads are a little bit better. I mean, you can see. Um, what those are and they they appear a little bit further out than on Google Maps. Like Google Maps just sort of gives you the black text with a white outline. Um, iOS tries to emulate like signage, like National Highway, you know, transport signage. I'm hitting like every red light here. So obviously there's a difference in the in the UI between the two, but um, overall the routing performance, the turn by turn guidance on iOS 6 seems to be pretty spot on, honestly. Um, I've waited as long as I could to shoot this video. So this is on beta four. So I just deviated, see how long it takes for them to realize. Pretty 600 feet. close there. Turn left onto East Alturas Street. Turn. Huh, so iOS turn wants me to keep East turning Alturas right. Street. Then turn right onto North Fremont Avenue. Turn left onto East Alturas Street. All of them want me to turn left and stuff. I'm just going to go up turn to Glen. Turn left Street. onto East Copper Street. Let's blow that off too. In a quarter mile, turn left In onto 1, East Glen Street. Turn left onto East Glen Street. 
So I don't know if I really like that both of them suggested going on these little roads that um, I don't know don't know where exactly they go to. Turn left onto East Glen Street. Turn left onto East Glen Street. So we're gonna go left here. Street for three quarters of a mile. In a quarter mile, turn left onto North First Avenue. Hmm. Sideway so Six wants me to go left on First. Google Nav wants me to go to Stone. I'd rather just go all the way through to Oracle. Turn left onto North First Avenue. Now both are saying, um, so Google Maps says seven minutes, iOS 6 says five. I'm just going to go straight. Turn left onto North Stone Avenue. Turn left onto North Stone Avenue. So one of the things that I think both of these are missing is um, there's no current speed, which would be nice to see because um, if you've done like what I what I've done and changed your tire size, then your speedo is not calibrated properly, and I'm I'm too lazy to go recalibrate it. So most of the time I just rely on the GPS speed using some application. Um, so it's it seems like a logical thing to do to replace, you know, maybe a corner or something with your current speed. In a quarter mile, turn left onto North Oracle Road. In a quarter mile, turn left onto North Oracle Road.
Longest lay ever. Of course, I'm, I'm driving kind of slowly to minimize shake. So... see the U-turn dialogue pop up. In a quarter mile, make a U-turn at West Grand Road. Well, ironically enough, you can just turn left here. So... There's that. But I'll, I'll just humor it and do the U-turn. It's kind of annoying that they don't... Make a U-turn at North Oracle Road, then the destination is on your right. Make a U-turn at West Grand Road. So, I don't think either of these are perfect, but they're still pretty darn good. I think iOS 6 has really done a nice job creating a polished interface. They seem to have a lot of smoothing, too, while you're driving around. Um, they snap to roads properly, you know, all that sort of stuff is built into the Maps API now, so it's, it's obvious to me that navigation uses it as well. Um, and I think a lot of people talk about why the 4S is the lowest that can get navigation, but you have to keep in mind that we did see GPS change um, between the 4 and the 4S. Even though the 4 on Verizon has the uh, same, same GNSS, so GPS with GLONASS, as the 4S, it's virtually identical, but uh, that could be a big thing too, just beyond performance being a reason. do this U-turn. In 600 feet, your destination will be on the right. In 300 feet, the destination is on your right. So we'll go ahead. Your destination Along is on the right. Where our Canelo Corporate. So it's odd to me that iOS 6 just immediately goes to dimming the screen because they've been running the screen timeout timer the whole time. But, oh well. So now we're here. All right, well, this has been iOS 6 versus Google Nav um, comparison. Thanks again for watching.